Hey, Gamebox here. So, another investment video for MLB The Show. Uh, we're going to review last week, then get into this week's, or two weeks, uh, is how often they update these stats for a lot of players. Um, we'll, we'll look at what we did last week. And so the numbers next to the overalls are how much they went up. This is the spreadsheet from two weeks ago. Acuna, Bellinger, they all went up a couple. Bauer didn't go up. Um, Chapman went up. Um, and we'll, we'll get we'll get talking about them going in the future. Uh, these two didn't go up. Seager actually had a big, pretty big cold spell, so I no longer think he's kind of there. Um, reliever Blake, I can see them not going up. Witt didn't go up. Um, he had that hit streak, and he's kind of cooled off since then. Morton went up. Uh, Korea and Donaldson didn't go up. If they could stay healthy, this is more kind of a, like a long term look for that one. Um, but for my bronze and silvers, I got twenty out of twenty two correct. The only one, I like, Jeff McNeil didn't go up in overall, but he went up in contact, so I don't know. Maybe I just washed it out, so I didn't count that. Like, it would be 21 out of 23 with him or 20 out of 23 without him. We'll just go 20 out of 22 on the lower end, bronze and silvers we got correct. They upgraded a lot of guys, so it wasn't uh, that big of, like, a I don't know about an accomplishment, you know, being, what is that, 90% or just over it uh, for the lower end guys because on the upper end guys, they didn't get it. It's harder to get upgrades on the upper end. Um, talking going forward, so Bellinger is now an 84 Everybody expects him to go diamond, and it's kind of baked into his price. The only thing, the only way I'd be buying Bellinger right now is if he actually didn't increase Friday because they increased him two Fridays ago, and that he would just tank. That's when you buy. I bought two Bellingers the Friday he didn't go up to diamond for 6K. I sold it for, I think, more than double that. So I, I made quite a good investment there. That's what I, I said last time. When these things don't get upgraded and people are expecting them, if the prices are crazy high, that's when you want to buy the Friday they don't get right after right after the server change over if you have if you're on the show nation that's when you want to buy um, if they don't get upgraded so I do totally expect Bellinger to be the one to go diamond um, this time Chapman I still think is guaranteed to go diamond at some point if not this time then the next time um, because he's he's basically hitting like a diamond he's got the best he's got the best fielding stats in the game too so or up there. Uh, so he's he's basically hitting and playing. He's playing like a high diamond right now. So you can even contr uh, continue to hold him for the summer if you really want to wait on your investment. I hope you invested a lot into Chapman, like I said a few weeks ago, like I've been talking about on Twitch, uh, because this guy is my like guarantee, and he's going for like three k or so right now. Maybe I mean he may be pushing four k uh, by the time this gets out, or well, it's going to get out in a couple hours, so maybe not. I haven't checked it today. What he's going for? I guess we could check it since uh, we're here. How much he's going for? Chapman. Um, Matt Chapman's going for. Cause like a third baseman, even if he's gold, he'll probably go for okay, it's thirty four thousand. So like he'll probably double. So I got forty of them, only thirty nine sellable. But going for four thousand, and I've uh, since I put out that video, this is more than double the price that you could have bought him at. When I said get, Chapman's my number one investment, um, and he'll probably go up to ten k if he goes diamond. Now I don't know if he's gonna go diamond this week. Like I said, he should go diamond this week, but they just upgraded him last time plus one so they might wait a little bit to get him some more uh, at bats because he hasn't been in the major leagues very long so anyways which which should help him ideally a lot of people are thinking bauer goes up from 83 to 85 he's had some great stats um i know the paxton is also talked about a lot let's go to the next week the the one i focused on this time was the one's close to 79 79 to the, the silver to gold border some other guys that are having great years but aren't really close to the border like escobar going up plus four seems like a lot plus five seems like a lot so these guys are solid longer term investments but i don't see them because they're, they're playing really well so far but they could easily regress before they get the bump up to gold uh, but solid choices again like even even in sheet one the guys that have been doing well are continually doing well um and, but like these guys got upgraded last time so i don't know if they'll get up, uh, upgraded again this time like hayward's hitting really well this year which is weird for him uh but i don't know if he'll go again so just guys identified and then they got i i, I sold them out because they got upgraded two weeks ago so these are kind of the ones that i, I think are decent targets they're hitting well pre better than their like previous year so if their previous year they already had them at um 79 like flaherty's got pretty similar stats but his control could increase this year that's why he's here otherwise this might be like one of the lower ones to do uh but otherwise moose moose's borderline I, I don't know if i'd be huge on him segura's having a hell of a year uh the, hoskins lester's doing well like lester's old as fuck though um so who knows what they can improve but overall these guys are having big, big increases brantley uh and they're right on that level so that's why i put them out there um so these are the guys that could potentially go from like what 500 or so stubs 
to go up to gold to a thousand. These are the kind of ones I I will be focusing on. I'm I'm gonna try and buy a few of these over the coming days. If if not, if I don't grab these, then I might just grab them on Friday and invest a ton once these things sink. Uh, but I, I do expect a little bit of going up because like I mean these things. We'll take a look at Mustakis here. Um, I should I should have fan graphs up too. Let me go figure out a way to bring up fan graphs, and here we are. So Mustakis. We'll just go one by one. I can show you guys why I identified each of them going up. Um, all right, so Moose on the Brewers. He's hit, he's slugging a lot better, a lot like two years ago. So his, his um, you know, basically on base and slugging are higher. Runs created significantly higher than the previous years. And he's already on the borderline. So that's why I think he could potentially go up. Um, that's why I identified, even though it's kind of like, he's having a great year, but it's not too out of the ordinary for Moose for go, to go up. Um, but I mean, it's a significant amount, right? Going up a uh, hundred points. Wait, where the where the? Uh, oh, these are the, like they don't have the uh, OPS stats, but feels like almost a combined one hundred points between those two. Yeah, it's hundred points just right here. But anyways, so Moose hopefully going up there. Uh, next, what Segura? Let's see if I can just copy and paste. Yeah, there we go. Segura's having a hell of a year. Three twenty nine, three eighty six, forty seven. So he's also up just like Moose. He's also gone up. Um, the runs created significantly higher, too. So that's why I think Segura could go up. Good choice there. Hoskins having a great time, too. Phillies, 279. He's slugging the shit out of the ball. So, yeah. The issue is, like, I, I don't know. He's got defensive problems, which will probably hold him back. So if we go to his card here... I have to go back, don't I? Hoskins, somebody I don't, I haven't, I haven't really invested in these guys yet. I just did my homework last night. Uh, but if you're buying for seven ninety, there's a little bit of profit there. Maybe it's a little bit too high for you. But uh, yeah, his fielding sucks, which is the biggest problem. And he's already got good power, so to the extent he goes up, it's unknown. It's weird that his, his lefty, is his lefty splits pretty bad? Uh, let's go to splits. How's he doing this year against lefties? Versus left. As right, uh, not a lot of not a lot of sample size. Thirty plate appearances, two sixty one. Do they have advanced stats for that? Oh, they slugging. Well, not bad. Actually, not bad at all. So I th I think he could get a boost to lefties, which could take him up plus one. I think if he gets a boost to lefties, he could easily go gold. Hoskins solid. Lester, like I said, I mean he's got a long track record, but I mean maybe he's just getting fluked into his stats right now, but. Not bad. Two, three, seven. His, his advanced stats aren't that good, though, so you may be taking a little risk. It's a little bit improved here on the, uh, what is that, XFIP? 0.9. So, yeah, it could be a little fluky for him. Strikeouts are up. Walks are down from last year. But overall, you know, bat pip's not crazy different. And he's giving it more home runs. So, that's not that bad. So, Lester's a potential one at 79. Could go up. Brantley. Brantley's another one on the borderline that's improved this year. Legacy going gold. But again, all these things, I'm sure a lot of people have kind of uh, figured this out. So he's hitting 331 for the Astros, 380 on base, 517 slugging. Yeah, so Brantley could easily go up. His fielding is kind of looked down upon by advanced metrics to the three-year. So I don't think that'll change at all on the card. But potentially the hitting stats go up for Brantley. Hitting stats are much easier to figure out what's going up or down uh, versus, versus fielding. Because fielding stats is kind of it's messy really early in the year. Brantley's only 78. The other ones are 79, so we can maybe only get a plus one, too, which kind of hurts. So he's going 757, you can get him for. Another one, 250 stub profit, grabbing him, holding him. And again, like these things might even be worth waiting till, like I said, Friday, if they don't go up, if they don't go all the way up to 80, to wait for them to crash, because people will be selling off. Generally, that's what happens, at least with the high-end diamonds, the big profile guys, the Bellingers. We'll see with these things. So, who are we on now? Reddick. Yeah, he's been up and down. 314, down to 242, down to 352. A little up and down on the guy, but so far so good. Maybe they gave him a boost due to that. Uh, you know, two years ago he was great. Last year, not so great. This year, back to being great. Reddick. And then I take about last one with Flaherty. That's close to it. Otherwise, I'm not going to go through the ones kind of far away. They could go up, but they won't really do you any good. The only reason why I have him here is. is Lowered walk rate, strikeouts are still high as fuck. 
Um, but ERA is tough. I know they don't really look at ERA. FIP, XFIP, FIP's bad. So that's that's what I'm... I don't know. I'm not as sold about Flaherty as the other ones. That's really the only thing that I think becomes different. I'll take a look at this card. Like, uh... That, that could go up, that could go up. But everything else is pretty solid on the card already. I don't know if they'll give an upgrade enough to get gold based off those stats. But those are my suggestions. Of course, like we talked about, the same guys doing well are going to do well again. We talked about the front first sheet. We talked about Chapman, Bellinger. All of them are doing solid. But it's your choice who to invest in or not. I'm just trying to guide you on who could potentially go up this time. So thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.